Let's consider f equals not not a. Now this in fact will simplify just to a. Now to understand that we need to refer to the logic circuit diagram for not not a and we'll see in fact that it is a combinational logic circuit diagram made up of two not gates. Here we can see the two not gates. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to label one of the inputs a and I'm going to label over here f. Now this is a NOT gate and what it'll do, it'll NOT this particular input here which is A. So at this point we will have A knotted. Now this is a piece of wire, consequently the NOT A will also appear here at the input to this particular gate. Now this gate here will NOT its input and of course its input is NOT A. So the F will be the NOT A which is its input, knotted. So what in fact we've just proven, we've proven that not not A can be produced by this particular combinational logic circuit, i.e. a not gate following a not gate. Let's consider the possibilities for the value of A, and to help us do that I've drawn two of the combinational logic circuits. Now I'm going to put a zero here at A, now obviously a 0 will be converted by this NOT gate to a 1. As this is a piece of wire, that wire will send a 1 to this particular input, and now this NOT gate will convert its input, which is a 1, to a 0. If I come down here, then this time we'll start with a 1 at the input A. And of course this NOT gate will change the 1 to a 0, and as this is a piece of wire, the 0 will appear at the input to the next gate, and of course this gate will now convert that 0 to a 1. And if we look very carefully now, we can see that when this was a 0, the input was a 0. And when this was a 1, the input here was a 1. Consequently, we can see that the output is whatever a is. So when we come to look at this expression here, f is not not a, we can see that in fact that is equivalent to A, which when you think about it makes perfectly good sense because if you take A and you knot it and then you knot it again, you're bringing it back to what it was. So not not A is an A, or it minimizes to an A. Now this is a very important identity to remember when you're dealing with Boolean algebra, as we'll see later.